Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. And this time around, before the raid event begins, let's dive into Makina's brand new gacha as she, well, dips herself into Wonderland. Yes, if you guys didn't know by now, especially with the hint from Reina's gacha in the last event, uh, apparently Reina and Makina are both you know, doing the Alice in Wonderland theme. And yeah, let's check out Makina's brand new episode plate. And if you guys didn't know, I already posted up what Makina's costume name is. It was Sugar Alice. So yes, Makina is playing the role of Alice in Alice in Wonderland. So it's pretty interesting. But Reina, well, her role kind of feels like a mix between two characters in Alice in Wonderland. She is the White Rabbit at the same time, Mad Hatter? I have no idea. But you know, it's all good, I guess, considering that, you know, they, they form a very unique duo. And if you guys have compared both episode play images, especially their evolved versions, you will have probably noticed that you can join the two images together and make them into a one unit illustration. But here's an interesting thing. Which do you prefer? Makina on the right or Makina on the left? Let me know in the comments down below. So anyway guys, uh, let's break down Makina's episode plate right now. 3,853 total score. Pretty good total high score right there. Um, well balanced stats all around. And of course, not forgetting, you know, the other three divas who can use the episode plate. Definitely having Reina within the mix as well. Because, you know, you can never have Makina without Reina ever since, you know, um, the original Valkyrie uh, disbanded, I suppose? <laughs> not really. Uh, continue on the legacy with Mikumo, Freya, and, you know... Um, Whoever is gonna join them next in the new movie, I don't know. Hint, hint, who might be. I, I'm still having high hopes that it's actually Mirage. So, <laughs> anyways, um, let's talk about the episode plate. This is what the gacha video is all about. Center skill, to units total is boosted by 30% up. Uh, not the most fantastic center skill we've seen uh, as usual. So with such a low percentage boost, I have a feeling this episode plate is going to end up as a live skill episode plate once again. So let's take a look. And yeah, there it is. So active skill, not that important because it's still an A rank active skill. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with the kanji by now, um, I guess, let me explain it one more time. For 15 seconds, you will have an easier time tapping your notes, mainly because, well, the accuracy required is kind of loosened up. Alright, so live skill. If you guys have not seen this or familiarized with this by now, yeah, it's still a pretty new live skill that was implemented not too long ago. So this is the second episode play that has this live skill. Um, if you guys are wondering what it does, well, basically when you are in Cho Utahime Mo, that is if you got it activated during the Valkyrie attack phase, any notes that get great or below in terms of you know the accuracy of your attacks, um, you will gain a 110% boost in score for that particular attack. So it basically obliterates any of your bad touches during the live performance itself. So, like I said in my first introduction to this episode plate, um, if you're just aiming to get a high score, I guess it's good to have one of these episode plates um, within your setup of your divas. You just need one copy of it. Um, of course, it would be good to have a variety of this particular episode plate skill um, with the different 
series or elements of episode plate available so one of each color and your collection is probably complete but of course if you're fussy because of the diva that is on the episode plate then i guess you're gonna have to toss in more money <laughs> all right so let's move along the last page is probably the most important and ooh, it doesn't come with any special notes attached to it so that's kind of a bummer but with a total high score this high, I think it's still a pretty good tiering episode plate. Um, but you know, like I said, the life skill isn't exactly, uh, I would call it, meta episode plate skill. It's okay to have, but not essential. Um, so still, you know, I guess when it comes to events that um, require high score achievements, especially maybe the Red Boss and the last event of the month, plus maybe the first event of the month, if you're aiming for those high score um, rewards. Yeah, I guess episode plays like these come in handy. Yeah, alright. So with that done, let's pull Makina's gacha. I'm definitely not looking towards you know attaining the episode plate i mean i i, I didn't attain reina's episode plate but it'd be nice it'd be nice to have you know something flashy and blinging appear <laughs> in the gacha pool itself so i can only afford um, the discounted template pool because well i tossed i tossed most of my singing stones into other gachas which you might see very soon as i compile the rest of my gacha pools into a video uh, as I always do. So yeah, look forward to that. Okay. Alright, a mediocre Valkyrie animation. We did get a bit of a loading at the beginning. Oh! Wow! Okay, Rainbow Box. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a brand new episode play. It could be something old. Oh! Wow, that soon? There we go, so an old episode plate. So I guess if the rainbow box appears nearer to the end of the pool, it might hint towards a new episode plate rather than an older one. So yeah, I guess we're slowly breaking down how, you know, Uta Macross does, um, I guess, feature newer episode plates within the gacha itself. So yeah, that, that's just from my experience of, you know, doing gacha content for three years now. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. At least we do get... Oh, what is this? New background for the notices? Oh, that's pretty nice. A very nice, lovely touch. This has never happened before. Usually it's just a plain white background. <laughs> oh, this is actually a very, very pleasant thing to have even though it's just a very simple addition to you know the notification still yeah appreciate it it makes the things a lot more cheerful all right so we do get one episode plate that actually has um makina's costume points and we do evolve the five star to a six star so that's pretty sweet even though it's an old episode plate but you know still something to be appreciate it for all right so hopefully enough this might prove us to be um getting more episode ops for future costumes maybe even to unlock makina's costume i definitely won't have enough to unlock makina's costume right now although i do have reina's costume on hand uh if you guys have kept up to date with all my uploads on my YouTube Facebook page, you guys probably might have seen Reyna's um, special animation on, yeah, my YouTube Facebook page. I have no idea how many times I have to say it, but okay, let's take a look. Let's see, do we actually have enough episode orbs to do unlocking of Makina's costume? Oh, that's quite a lot <laughs> missing. Alright, let's see, let's see. I don't know. Let's see. Do we get a large episode of all of this? Boop. Oh, we do. Okay. That brings us slightly closer to unlocking Makina's costume. 
So let's see how far are we from it. Alright, we definitely only have that one plate. Let's go to the item selection. Nah, from the looks of it, it's very unlikely. So yeah guys, sadly to say, I won't be unlocking Makina's costume uh, that soon. But if I do eventually, yeah, you guys can probably see the special sequence um, live um, on my YouTube Facebook page in the future. Make sure you follow me there, um, hit the like on the page and all that good stuff. Of course, as usual, don't forget to comment down below on this video your thoughts and of course your results on your own personal pool for your gacha. And if you did unlock Maki Maki, share the love. <laughs> Uh, of course, share the joy as well and leave a like to this video if you appreciate the translation content as always and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet. I, I do more than Uta Macross although it seems like Uta Macross might be the main thing for my channel because uh, <laughs> it's the only thing that has consistent views. Although I do do other things for my YouTube channel like I did recently unbox that Pokemon Center Limited Edition set for the Pokemon Sword and Shield Expansion Pass. Um, so yeah, go check that video out as well. And yes, thank you guys as always. If you guys watched all the way to the end, you guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys soon. I don't know, maybe for another unboxing video. Uh, I have all my stuff for June, so yeah, I guess that's coming up next. <laughs> Until then. Bye!